Boom! What is up everybody? Welcome back to The Perfect Bag. My name's Clint and today we've got another great one take bag review for you. What we got on tap? This absolute classic timeless beauty. What is this? This is the Filson Journeyman Backpack in Tan. This is a waxed canvas backpack from the legendary maker, Filson. This is, yeah, the first Filson bag that we've reviewed on the channel. So, super excited about it. You know what we do on this channel, everybody. We do one take bag reviews. What does that mean? It means we're going to do a full straight shot walkthrough of this bag. We're gonna talk about the exterior and all the features, the interior, all the pockets, all the nooks and crannies. When we get done with that, you're gonna get two things that I love about this bag, two things that I think could be better than an overall recommendation. Who might this be the perfect bag for? All right, everybody, let's get into this thing. This is a gorgeous bag. I mean, look at it. It reminds me a lot just colorway and material wise of the track store travel backpack which we reviewed very recently on this channel did three videos about that bag actually really liked it um so what's going on with this bag it is well a very timeless elegant backpack shape looks like you know a herschel bag looks like an old school jansport bag looks like a really nice simple bag because that's what it is it's a really nice, simple backpack with heritage materials, leather and waxed canvas throughout, kind of aged buckles and buttons and zippers with a kind of a nice copper bronzish color. Yeah, so we'll talk about pockets in a second, but you can tell that the material is a waxed canvas, borderline looking like uh, leather. It's really nice waxed canvas. Already you can see some of the nice creases and streaking that occurs in the wax on this canvas. Gorgeous. It's got a really high D um, cotton material on the base and on the back of the bag. And then it's got leather for the straps, buckles, and handles. Okay. So we'll talk pockets, I promise, in a second. You've got a nice looking crease right here that adds some dimension to this pocket and some a crease right here that adds a little bit more dimension to that pocket, but it also adds kind of to the design of the bag. Without this pocket on the front, it just wouldn't be a good looking bag, but all the creases and folds and extra layers to what's going on here, along with this beautiful buckle up top, really set the bag off, give it this really kind of classic, timeless heritage look. Just a gorgeous bag. Yeah, all right, so I'm, um, waxing poetic get it about the bag let's flip her around here what do we have going on in the back well i told you we had a nice canvas back on the bag not a lot of padding this is also not a bag that i would say is designed for gigantic heavy loads it's a very smallish 20-ish liter backpack um, and it's designed for just your very simple daily carry You've got, just like on the track store, padded but very thin, simple straps. Nice stance here on the straps, wide enough so that it doesn't pinch up at the top of your neck. A really nice, simple grab handle right here. Not very wide though, it's more of a two finger grab handle or more likely a handle to hang on hooks, okay? Um, at the bottom, the strap is adjustable. Um, but not easily, okay? This is uh, like a old school leather purse strap and you have to kind of unbuckle it, move it from one hole to the next to resize the straps, but that's kind of good as well because with this leather, if we didn't have that, if they were trying to do some kind of nylon down there, number one, it would look like crap. Um, but number two, um, we might have some slippage and this buckle system does prevent all slippage of the straps. You set it once to the style and size that you like and how you want to carry the bag and you are good to go. You're locked in. All right. Is that it for exterior features? Goodness. I think it is. Time to get into the interior of this bag. Everybody, meet me at camera number two. Well, here we are, camera number two, and uh, time to get up close and personal 
with this really nice backpack from Filson. Okay, what do you think? Very pretty, isn't it? Very timeless look, elegant materials, a little branding on the hardware here, branding on the leather here. Yeah, really nice. But we're here to talk pockets right now. So let's see, look at this. A little snap, unsnap, and a little finger hole here so that you can do that very easily without kind of pulling at the material itself. So actually really, really like that. And this pulls open and what do we have inside here? Well, we have a front slip pocket that is actually really, really roomy. And then we have a little admin section. You got two pin sleeves. I've used one for my flashlight. And I had a Sharpie in here earlier, but I took it out. And then I've used this little drop section here, which is great for little wallets. Um, I've tossed in my uh, AirPods. So a really nice front pocket here and honestly, very easy access. Uh, there is some, you know, slippage here. And look at this on the sides. Didn't even show you this. You can unsnap for even more volume to put wider items in there and then re-snap it down to keep it a little closer and tucked in. So a nice well-designed wax canvas pocket, but just be aware that this bag is not a kind of waterproof or, or weatherproof and something could slip out of this pocket because it's not really tight. Uh, but the bag itself is insanely well-constructed, beautiful materials, but again, not for a watertight tech carry. Look at how gorgeous this is. And look at how gorgeous these are. I mean, that's just really, really, really nice stuff. Okay, all right, let's open up this main section here. That's again, one snap to release, and you've got this kind of hooks, hook button snap in again to make it easier so you don't have to mess with the whole bag. You just run your finger through that hook. Very, very nice. And then you've got a rain flap here. It said it's not waterproof, but that rain flap goes a long way to helping with that. And then a really toothy zipper. So. These big chunky toothy zippers are just really nice and smooth to zip and unzip. I've always enjoyed them. And the rain flap here makes it not as big of a deal that you've got that big toothy chunky zipper, okay? So we'll open this bad boy up and we'll take a look-see inside. This is about a three quarter zip on the side, so it's not a full clamshell here, but it does open up pretty wide. And you got a lot going on in this bag for a heritage simple bag like this. First off, in the front pocket here, or behind the front flap here, you've got a zippered pocket and it runs pretty deep. So this zippered pocket runs all the way down to about here on the bag. So it's, you know, you know right about here. So a really nice, larger than it looks zippered pocket. I've tossed a game in there sunglasses and a do-it-all switchable cord. So one cord to carry, right? All right. Then you've got a slip pocket here on the front behind that. I've tossed a Kindle in there, but you could use it for files. You could use it for slipping a uh, pouch into. And this is a pouch I've tossed in here for my laptop cord. And then a journal. And then a battery backup, secondary gaming device in a Pokemon colored case. Then you've got a Filson branding here, a little bit of branding, a genuine Filson, a good size space here, really good. And then you've got a nice padded, so this has padding in it. And then you can see the padding on the back panel here. Laptop section back here, and that laptop sleeve easily will fit a 15 inch laptop, but not a 17 inch. All right, so those are all the pockets. There is no back pocket, there are no hidden pockets. Uh, what you get is what you get, and what you get is just a gorgeous little backpack with beautiful, timeless heritage materials. I'll show you the back panel up close here, and the buckles up close here really really nice okay all right meet me back at camera number one everybody let's talk about this thing all right 
So, you've seen the exterior, you've seen the interior, let's talk about this bag. So, two things that I love about the bag. The first thing is the classic look. Love that this is just a classic satchel. You just feel nice carrying it in the same way that if you've ever put on a really, really good, you know, cowboy hat. I don't know if you have. Some of you have, some of you haven't. If you haven't, I recommend it. So let's go with uh, an analogy that more people will know. Let's say you put on a really nice pair of boots and you say, wow, wow, this feels great. Or you sit down in a luxury car and you feel the seats and you're like, oh, that's a little bit different than what I'm used to. Yeah, it feels like that. So really nice material, really soft, really supple, really gorgeous. So a beautiful, good looking bag, classic, timeless. Um, I can imagine like going on a nice hike with this bag. Um, not a epic hike, a, a little day hike. Yeah, really classic. All right, so. That's the first thing I love, the look and feel. The second thing I love, it's a little tiny detail, and you probably picked up on it in the review. It's a little tiny detail, but I think it really makes a difference with the usability of this bag. Both of these main compartments are behind snap closures, and this little insert finger to pull snap and close snap is so much better than the snap actually closing on the bag itself and having to tug on the material of the bag to pull and press on the material of the bag to close. It's a little detail, but I'd say that's kind of the, the, the overall appeal of this bag, like a lot of little attention to detail of usability and how it feels and how it looks and how it functions. So love the little details like these little snap inserts so that you don't have to fuss with the bag to get things snapped and pressed closed. Yeah, really, really nice attention to detail on the bag, especially closures, zippers, and hardware. All right, two things I think could be better. Well, I say this a lot about heritage bags. Heritage bags, sometimes they, they embrace the old without enough embracing of the new. What do I mean by that? I mean this. The, the straps aren't that comfortable. And for a backpack, that's kind of a big deal. Now, it's not a, a high-tech bag like some of these bags up here are, but I don't think you have to go high-tech to get a little bit more padding in these straps. I don't think you have to go crazy high-tech, X-Pack, uh, futuristic to invest a little bit more in the comfort of the back panel and the straps. So that's something that I think could be improved about this bag. It's purposefully no frills, it's purposefully classic, but it's also, you know, not as comfortable as it could be. The second thing that I think could be better, and it is a very, very tiny thing, is this grab handle on the back could actually be a grab handle instead of a hanging handle. So wider handle, hook it right here, hook it right here, make it so that I can grab this bag easily and toss it in the back of my truck. Um, yeah, this is a bag that is going to be at its best if it is heavily used. And so you don't want this bag just to, you know, take to the coffee shop. You want to Take this bag, toss it in the back of your truck, get some marks on it, scratch it up, beat it up. It'll last a long time. Like a waxed canvas trucker jacket, right? If you look at Filson stuff, it always looks its best years and years into use. This bag will be no exception. So again, this is the Filson Journeyman backpack, and I have a bombshell to drop for you. It's a $400 backpack. It's a $400 backpack. That's problematic for me. So, your mileage may vary. I think we've got a little bit of paying for the brand going on here, and that's one of my least favorite things in fashion or function or gear. I hate paying for a brand name. I love, by the way, paying for quality goods. 
I absolutely will pay up. I paid $1,000 for a backpack, famously on this channel. But I hate paying for a brand name. Hate it. Hate it. So, your decision to make. Is this bag worth $400? It certainly is a looker. But in the same way, sometimes, like what did I say earlier about cowboy hats? Sometimes the Stetson is worth $500. Sometimes it's a $100 hat with a Stetson written on the side of it. So is this a $200 bag with Filson written on it? Or is it a $400 bag? Mm, I don't know because the Track 35 liter gigantic travel bag with built-in um, sling and that was also a $400 bag. So I wonder... Should you buy this or should you just buy the 20 liter track store and call it a day, which is cheaper than this and just as good, really? Yeah. So I think my recommendation, honestly, y'all, is uh, you can get something of similar quality for half the price. So I don't know if you should pay up for this one. I really don't. Great bag, well made. But my advice is seek out another maker who dabbles and plays in this wax canvas space. You can get a Heritage Go Ruck for this price. You can get a track bag in wax canvas for less than this price. Um, and that's what, what my advice would be, honestly. All right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the review. I think if you're willing to put in the work, meaning use this, beat it up, beat the crap out of it, have a tired old, crumpled, rumpled, lived in wax canvas bag 10 years from now, you'll love it. You will. You'll love it. This will age beautifully, but you might want to save your money. All right, everybody. That's it. We will, of course, see you next time. Stick around. I will model the bag for you. I always do. And everybody, I appreciate the love and support. See you next time. Bye-bye.